Hi there, Hillary here with Waterlogged on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. I am here at Reefstock Denver and there's a new company that is out on the market that has some really exciting products that I want to talk to you guys about. As soon as I saw them on Facebook, I knew I had to stop by and do a video with them. So let's go meet Nick. All right, this is Nick. Nick, can you tell me a little bit about yourself and about your company? Yeah, absolutely. So my name is Nick. I'm the founder of DX Aquarium, and I'm a molecular biologist with a specialty in disease detection. Okay. So taking that technology and moving it to this industry, uh, we have founded the first rapid disease detection within one hour at home wow. uh, to make sure that hobbyists are able to identify accurately and precisely, in our case with the first product, marine ick and velvet from the comfort of your own home. So right now there's a lot of ways that you can test. You can do skin scrapes, you can do uh, a lot of different things like sending out samples to labs, getting veterinary input, but a lot of these things are either costly or they're super daunting, right, to get done. So our idea here is to simplify it, right? Take the really advanced tech and bring it to the industry in a simplistic way so that users can get good information without having to either spend a ton of money or a ton of time and effort and energy. Excellent, I like that. So you mentioned that there's, these are just the first two. I'm expecting that you have more in the future? Oh yeah, so surprisingly, uh, the easiest one to develop so far has been uranema. Oh. Um, in our case, the ick and velvet test, we decided to move this uh, with the pilot because uh, both of them present very similarly on fish, right? So you see some white spots, you see some white mucus, something going on with the fish. This kit will tell you essentially how nuclear you have to go with treatment <laughs> and checking out uh, different ways to treat your fish, right? Um, so if you have ick, you know, it's oftentimes stress-related, uh, you know, increasing feeding, reducing stress and whatnot can be enough to really lessen the disease itself. With velvet, that one is a very tricky one and, you know, you have about 48 to 72 hours to act and in that case, you know, especially with new hobbyists, that can be very, very daunting. Yes. Now, so it sounds like, I mean, just based on what you said, it would be good to have these kits at home. Like if you get a new fish to mm -hmm. test, is that kind of what you're thinking? Yeah, absolutely. So the first test here is mainly for active infections. Mm -hmm. um, so if you see white stuff on your fish, uh, you can either swab or collect a sample from your water column or the bag that the fish might be coming in oh, uh, to then test it using this kit. Okay. So in that case, you can get a result before you even quarantine, before you put it in your tank to then lessen the chances of bringing something into your tank that you may not want. Yes, right? exactly. And so in our case, uh, we've made this test to specifically prevent false positives by looking at active infections. The technology uh, publications have been out for years and years showing that it can go down to very low levels of detection with surveillance and whatnot. So imagine you know, wholesalers getting in imports and then testing the fish there to make sure that things aren't going you know, further down the chain and then saving fish stores, saving you know, uh, the hobbyists themselves. So in that case, uh, that's one of our ultimate aims is to push this to a lower level, a lower sensitivity to then be able to work on surveillance without causing either false positives and overreactions or false negatives and of course underreactions in the yes. case of either of these diseases or more. Okay, so these kits aren't available yet to purchase, but they're coming, right? Yep, that's correct. So right now we're expecting a full retail launch in the fall of 2025. Okay. So it's coming up pretty soon. Yeah. Um, but right now we're undergoing beta testing. So okay. for me as a biologist, you know, science is super interesting and I get to do it all the time focusing on this. In my hands, I've seen a 97% accuracy rate with 3% left over being fully my fault. Oh, and wow. I know that, that those issues are my fault, right? Okay. So with beta testing, the idea is to get it into the hands of others. Take that te technology, make sure that the instructions are clear, make sure that everything is good so that, you know, between the company and the user, we can merge that and make sure that everything is, you know, kosher going yeah. into the, pro uh, the process itself. Excellent. All right. So can you walk us through when you, when somebody purchases one of these, what's yeah. it going to look like? Tell me how it works. Yeah, absolutely. This one here is, again, for marine ick and velvet. Within the box, you'll find multiple sterile things. You can either sample from the water column itself mm -hmm. with the provided syringe, or you can swab the fish using the collection kit that's been provided. Uh, the swab is gonna provide the most concentrated and accurate uh, results. And then from there, 
uh, the sample would be put onto a syringe filter, which again, sterile. Mm -hmm. um, and then that syringe filter would collect the DNA within that sample, whether it be from the swab itself or from the water column. From there, we would undergo a little bit of purification to make sure that we're getting only the DNA and no other interfering things like copper, like uh, any medications that might be in the tank. And then the, ultimately the sample is added to this small tube. And within that tube, you'll see a little blue dot. And that is a very small but mighty reaction oh. that then amplifies the DNA. So it takes about one piece of DNA, two pieces of DNA, and turns it into millions and billions within the 30 minutes uh, that this hands-off reaction occurs. So from there, the reaction is then put onto uh, one of the test strips that we liken to say it's you know like a COVID test, a pregnancy test, right? Um, you end up with, at the end of the day, a positive result for ick, velvet, both or neither. Um, and it'll give you a result based on the positivity and whether or not the reaction actually saw either or both of those things in the first place. Okay. Now, you mentioned that you can do swab the fish and that's gonna be better. If you decide to do, if you can't get a hold of your fish or whatever, sick fish can be really weird and tricky. Absolutely, yep. If you have to do it from the water column, I know it's maybe not as accurate, like especially if you've got a new fish, how long does it take for these things to be in the water column and be noticeable? Yeah, so uh, it takes a little bit for the replication cycle of the, in our case, the parasites that cause these two diseases to kind of reproduce and build up higher concentrations in the water column. The beauty of working with a DNA versus a protein-based uh, assay in our case, or a test, um, is that it'll look for anything that's floating in the water column, not just the parasite itself. So we can have cell-free DNA, we can have, uh, you know, if a parasite died off and then there's just DNA floating around, all of that will get collected in the water column and then that will end up in the test okay. at the end of the day. So within that, uh, to answer your question, the accuracy is the same in terms of false positive, false negatives, but it may not be as concentrated of a solution. So if you're looking for a surefire way to know one way or another, swabbing is definitely the way to go. But if you have a six-line RAS that's flying around <laughs> your tank or sitting you know, directly in the rock work, then you know, it's going to be trickier and the water column is the way to go. Yeah. So I can't help but notice that these test kits look very similar to some of the aquabiomics testing that I've done. If you've seen some of my previous videos, you know the step-by-step -step how to go through. But how does this compare to what Eli is doing? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, Eli and I have actually uh, decided to work together in a lot of ways uh, to uh, figure out ways that we can push this technology further into the industry and see how this DNA-based technology can uh, really get into the hands of users. So a lot of the tech that we use is very similar to aquabiomics. However, uh, with our kit, it's more specific and more uh, tailored to the specific things that you're looking for. So in other words, uh, the kit itself, you're buying it for marine ick and velvet, right? Mm -hmm. Because in that case, you would have a fish with an active outbreak for marine ick and velvet. You can buy it from a fish store, you can buy it from multiple uh, different avenues, get it shipped directly to your house so that you're not sending it out to a lab for full reference. Uh, and while aquabiomics results are very beneficial for uh, microbiome analyses and whatnot, uh, in our case, we're focusing specifically on disease and with disease, time is of the essence, right? Yes. So we wanna make sure that we have a super accurate, reliable test that's very specific as well. Exactly. All right, so I'm sure everybody wants to know what is the cost of one of these test kits and when and where can they get it? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, right now we're looking at a retail price of $39.99. That's not bad. Um, and that would be a one-time use kit. Uh, we'll be selling them also in bundles. So, you know, if you get a new fish in, you're trying to QT and whatnot, you'd put them either to, into a quarantine tank, test that tank up front, and then test it afterwards to see if you had a positive result in the beginning, if that went away, you know, and, and things like that. Um, you can purchase the test on our website, uh, and that's dxaquaria.com. Um, on that website, there's also pre-order sales that are going on until the fall. Um, and then in the fall with full retail launch, we'll be set, uh, selling them out in kits and whatnot uh, in the future. So pre-order right now, we're looking at a 10% discount with stacking uh, quantities as we move higher and higher. Um, and this weekend only, uh, if you come to our booth or if you came to our booth, uh, people were able to get an extra 20% off. So if you see us at other events and uh, you wanna you know, talk to us about the technology, about where we're headed as a company, um, we'll be sure to have discounts at our booth wherever we go.
All right, Nick, well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. This is really, really exciting. I'm, I'm so glad that the hobby is going to finally have a tool like this. Like, it's just a great move. Yeah, thank you. I, I'm really excited for the uh, applications of the tech and the way that the company is going to move forward. I mean, we're hobbyists first, so we're yes. trying to you know, make sure that everything is kosher and, and we're making sure that everything works together between you know, industry and the hobby itself. So. Yes. Well, if we can have healthy fish, people are going to be successful reef keepers and be in the hobby longer, and that's what we're looking for. Absolutely. All right. Well, this has been Hillary for Waterlogged and SaltwaterAquarium.com and Nick for DX Aquaria. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.